Start right now at 530 on this Monday with a look at the new coronavirus case numbers just released this afternoon by the state. Governor Ned Lamont giving an update a short while ago and he says tests are being administered at a record rate right now. In fact, more than 92,000 tests were done since Friday. And these numbers today really do cover all of those days since Friday and of those tests, 2047 came back positive. That's a 2.2% positivity rate and that is down a little bit from where we were on Friday. 12 more people have died from the virus and another 37 are in the hospital. We asked them, would they be open to pausing ice hockey for a week or so? Um, and just to see how um, our, our data you know, pans out. Now a local ice rink is putting hockey on hold as Connecticut sees an uptick in those COVID cases. The Northford Ice Pavilion is temporarily pausing operations. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is explaining to us what went into this decision. Matt. Well, Aaron and Mark, Northford hopes to reopen later this week. Meanwhile, we've learned it's not the only rink here in Connecticut that's making changes due to the uptick in cases throughout the state. There will be no scenes like this inside the Norford Ice Pavilion, at least for the next few days. The hockey rink voluntarily putting its operations on ice. In the last couple of weeks, we've seen a significant number of COVID-19 cases related to players, coaches, and their families. East Shore District Health Director Michael Pascasilla says through contact tracing, they were able to connect more than 20 recent cases back to people who visited the ice pavilion at some point, including some members of the Yale hockey team, which recently had an outbreak. Working with the surrounding communities uh, around our health department, we have linked a number of um, COVID-19 infections to ice hockey. And a lot of those individuals also played at the hockey ring. So the pavilion agreed to temporarily close the ring, but the health district stresses while it and the ring can implement all these protocols and measures to keep everyone safe. It's the other activities associated with the sport, the carpooling to and from, the parties, uh, you know, the pizza parties, the gatherings. The general manager of the rink tells Eyewitness News they feel hitting the pause button is best for the safety of the players and staff. We are sorry for any inconvenience this might cause your organization, but we have been advised this would be the best course of action under the current circumstances. While Connecticut's Department of Public Health lists hockey as a moderate risk sport and is monitoring the situation statewide, neighboring Massachusetts recently ordered its rinks to close for two weeks. New Hampshire did the same. Northford is not alone in making changes. Champion Skating Center in Cromwell announced it's no longer allowing spectators into its facility for practices or games until further notice. Rather, only players and coaches will be allowed in 15 minutes before their ice slot. Meanwhile, back in North Brantford, the health district says the pavilion did the right thing. They're definitely uh, looking out not just for their staff and their business, but also the sporting community um, and our residents. And uh, earlier today during the governor's press conference around the latest COVID numbers, his office said that uh, they are in contact discussions with other states as well, talking about limiting travel uh, into states for these types of hockey tournaments. As for uh, the ice pavilion here in Northford, the idea is that they're going to be closed through Wednesday. They're then going to be meeting, we're told, with the health department Thursday morning. And then the hope is, again, that they'll be open Thursday afternoon. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in North Brantford. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.